Greetings from Washington, D.C. This is Peter Thomas, the General Counsel of the NAAOP. Just back from the Academy meeting in Orlando where we had a uh, wonderful meeting and, and talked with a lot of good friends and colleagues. Today I wanted to announce two things on behalf of the association. Number one, the selection of the two fellows for 2019. And number two, uh, some announcements from CMS on competitive bidding of orthotics, or some portion of orthotics, I should say, uh, what they define as off-the-shelf orthotics. First, uh, the good news. Uh, the selection committee of the NAAOP uh, 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 interviewed some very high quality candidates this year, ultimately recommended to the board the selection of two individuals, and we're very pleased to announce those individuals uh, today. Susanna Egdahl is a PhD candidate from the University of Michigan and uh, has been immersed in biomechanical engineering and prosthetics research and uh, is an amputee herself, uses uh, artificial limbs, and uh, we are overjoyed that she's accepted uh, the fellowship. We can't wait to have her in Washington and to expose her to NIH and to um, the, the committees of jurisdiction that deal with prosthetics and orthotics, especially from a research focus, but um, she'll get a wide, uh, 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 broad scope of experience while she's here during her fellowship. Next, Alicia Carver is uh, just a great advocate and someone who really uh, uh, lit up um, the, uh, the selection committee with her enthusiasm and her willingness to come to Washington and to spend some concerted uh, time uh, as a bilateral amputee herself using prosthetic limbs uh, to be in Washington and, and to work on behalf of amputees, on behalf of people with limb loss, uh, prosthetic orthotic users and to bring her experience, her life experience, to Capitol Hill and to the federal agencies to, to get them to understand uh, the, the policy issues from a very personal and uh, patient perspective. So we could not be more uh, pleased with the quality of these candidates. I must tell you, it was very stiff, stiff competition. There were a number of very high quality candidates this year, and we hope that they will uh, reapply for next year's fellowship. The board uh, wanted me to take special uh, care to announce that um, we are very, very grateful for the support that we have received from a number of different uh, elements from, from within the orthotic and prosthetic community, not the least of which is both individuals and uh, companies within the NAAOP board of directors uh, and membership, as well as longtime leaders in the O&P uh, community. The fellowship starts at the end of May and goes through the beginning of August. The, the two fellows will be housed in my law offices here in Washington, D.C., and they will experience a tremendous amount uh, in a relatively short period of time, and we, we are very much uh, looking forward to them being in Washington. Next, uh, the orthotic and prosthetic issues continue. Uh, CMS did announce uh, and finalized that they will be moving forward in 2021 with competitive bidding of 23 different codes that they describe as off-the-shelf orthotic codes. Uh, the NAOP, the OMP Alliance, uh, differs with that interpretation. We believe that a number of these codes, in fact, require uh, much more than minimal self-adjustment and require bending and molding and all of the things that the statute um, uh, states that uh, is the definition of off-the-shelf orthotics. Uh, ultimately, uh, we will continue to work with CMS to do all we can to minimize the impact of this provision. The 23 codes involve both uh, knee and back braces or orthoses. Uh, they will, uh, over the next year and a half, uh, work uh, through the process of competitive, competitive bidding uh, these uh, orthoses in 130 different competitive bid areas across the country. So this is a significant proposal. It's the first time that competitive bidding uh, is proposing to be uh, applied to the orthotic and prosthetic benefit. As you may know, the statute itself exempts most, competitive, most ONP from competitive bidding. In fact, all prosthetics and, um, only, uh, and all orthotics other than off-the-shelf orthotics. The question is how you define off-the-shelf orthotics. The OMP Alliance, the, the uh, uh, NAOP, will be working hard to try to continue to work with Congress and CMS 
to refine that definition to what Congress truly intended. Uh, the types of orthosis you can purchase in a, say, a, a pharmacy. Uh, and we'll be working on introducing new legislation, an update to the Medicare OMP Improvement Act, which we hope will address uh, this very issue. So thanks so much, and we look forward to working with you as we uh, promote a solution to this uh, very vexing problem. Thank you.